Hello, I'm Keith Weller. Uh, welcome to Conway Recreation Ground, or Conway Rec as we call it. Uh, you're looking at our pond, uh, which hasn't always looked quite as it does now, and we're going to tell you a bit about it. Um, about seven years ago, the pond flooded as it had from time to time and reached a very high level, flooding the close by tennis courts, and it stayed that way for some considerable time. Uh, we did try to get some uh, somebody to take notice of it and solve the problem, but it took a while and a bit of persuasion. Eventually, they did, they came, they dug, they emptied the pond, and the drains had collapsed that uh, took the water away. So they fixed the drains, but the pond was left rather bare. All the plants had gone, all the wildlife had gone as the pond was emptied to be cleaned, and so we were left with a rather sterile space. Uh, no birds, no plants, no little animals. So we uh, thought we should do something about it. And a group of local, local people got together and uh, decided they would work together to try to uh, help to bring the wreck back to its uh, previous uh, rather more uh, attractive state. And that's where the story started. This is Lona Jesnik, and I've lived near the pond since 1967, so I've seen all of the changes that have happened from that time until this. In 2010, as Keith said, the pond was uh, completely cleared out and everything went. We had a lovely stand of uh, water lilies in the pond that somebody had thrown in and into that, those water lilies had come um, a pair of moor hens which regularly nested there. Um, all the water lilies went and the moor hen was le were left stranded. They also took our, the council also took our sticklebacks. Um, so we were left the next year with a black water, black empty, absolutely nothing there, and a pair of moorhens paddling around with nothing to do. By February they were desperate, they needed nesting sites, and so a, uh, an old um, bough from one of the oak trees was moved into the centre, overturned, they nested on top of this log, they took everything that they could to nest on it, old bits of paper that people were still throwing things into the pond, old bits of plastic, we threw grass into, in for them, and they managed to raise one brood that year. From that point on, we all decided that we would have to find housing for the moorhens, and we began to, we came together as a group, um, we got together with the council, we were donated uh, various bits and pieces that we use in the pond to make the islands, and we were also donated lots of plants from the council and we started to build up the islands from that point. And um, this has proved very, very successful. Uh, we now have our moor hens every year nesting regular as clockwork and uh, producing um, several broods of moor hens every year. We have ducks, we have tufted ducks, we have a housing problem for our wildlife now. Hi, my name is Mick Carman uh, and I live in the area for 25 years and my main interest in this um, recreation ground is the wildlife. We have uh, a rather large selection of wildlife in the, in the area. We have bats, we have a large number of birds, but we also have a great uh, group of amphibians. We have the common toad, the common frog and the smooth newt. The pond, when it was uh, emptied, lost most of these animals. Toads in particular suffered, but we're very pleased to say that over the last few years the toads have increased and we now have a very, very successful spawning group. Newts are very, very common and we also have a large number of frogs. This year there were probably 50 plus and they spawned with an amazing amount. The amazing amount of spawn was produced. We have uh, fish in the pond, we have herons, and uh, one of the things we had to do when the pond was emptied, we had to create some more wildlife areas. So one of the things we did is we built these islands and we would, we, what we used was old water tanks from lofts. We would scour old skips and find water tanks, take them out into the centre of the pond, drill holes in the bottom, sink them, fill them with earth and then plant them up. And this has become a wonderful, wonderful area for the birds to nest. The moorhens hatch and rear their babies on the wreck each year, but also every year we have a female mallard who hatches a brood and after a few days walks them down the road to Broomfield Park. If anyone sees them, they escort them across the road so they make it safely. This is why you never see baby ducks on the wreck. 
My, my name is Fran Carmen. I've lived here for 25 years. A few years after we had started repopulating the pond, we found that there was a great problem with mapweed. Two of our members, Sue and Dave Davis, had heard of barley blooms, so we started forming these. We create them with uh, polystyrene floats, wrapping barley around them and then netting them so that they stay together in one piece. We anchor them in the pond and we found this amazingly successful. It seems to have cleared the matweed very well indeed, but we do keep an eye on it and we have to replace them two or three times a year. This is one of the things that we do on our activity days. We hold these regularly in the rec. We ask the members to come along and help. They dig, they weed, they plant, and they clear the pond. And indeed, we make the barley booms. It, this means that the whole area is, is involved. We always have a good turnout on our activity days and people enjoy it. And coincidentally, we always have very good weather. So it's always worth people coming along to enjoy the sunshine, if nothing else. A lot of school children from St Monica's walk through this wreck and of course a lot of children use it at the weekends. So we decided that we would try and make it a little more educational and fun for them. We created a series of four lecterns, each with a different subject, and we placed them around the wreck. Our committee got together and created the panels and we had them installed and they proved very popular indeed. The children stop and look at them and uh, we hope that they're learning quite a lot as well as being interested.